Hi everyone, Siyalash here and in this episode we are going to talk about Facebook Pixel and tracking your events on your ClickFunnels funnels. Okay, let's begin. So, the first thing that we want, uh, I want to point out is, as you might have seen inside your ClickFunnels, so if you go to your uh, ClickFunnels and then you go to your account settings, and then if you scroll down and you come down to your integration path this is where you can actually add your integration you can add Facebook integration in here and do it from uh, that part and that way by adding a Facebook integration to your ClickFunnels that means that you need to give some permission to ClickFunnels to use your uh, Facebook ads account that is not the way that I'm going to do it inside this video. The main reason for it is like, I don't want to give access to a ClickFunnels to have access to my Facebook ad account. So instead of that, I'm going to show you how you can do it via a pixel code and installing it manually on your funnel. So the first thing that I would like to you to do is, I'm pretty sure that you already should have your Facebook business uh, settings and business manager account. If you don't have, I have videos about how you can actually create one. It's pretty straightforward. As soon, as long as you have your Facebook uh, a profile, a Facebook profile, you can go ahead and go to business.facebook.com/overview and then create a new account. Once you create a new account, it lands in here. You have to do some verification and stuff in order for it to get passed. And then, what we want to do, we want to create a pixel. So, what is the pixel? Pixel is Basically, it's just a piece of code uh, for Facebook to do tracking for you. So it gives you a specific ID based on your business account. And if you grab that piece of code and put it on any website that you have, that way, if I go and visit your website, it triggers Facebook and say, okay, this person is interested in this type of content. So down the track, if you start advertising, I'll be in a Facebook segment Facebook section and say okay uh, the account owner of that Facebook pixel started advertising me advertising and I have already visited that website so it means that most probably I'm going to be interested in the uh, things that that person is advertising so I'm going to start receiving the uh, your ads on my Facebook page or even if you do if I have an Instagram I'm going to start seeing them on my Instagram as well so this is basically the way, you know, for example, you see that when you sometimes search for something, you land on, you search on Google, you land on some uh, some website, and then you go open up your uh, Facebook or Instagram, and suddenly, boom, you see the same content as an advertisement. This is how they do the tracking and segmentation and targeting uh, the customers and people. All right, enough about background of how the pixel works. Uh, what you want to do is when you come to your business settings you want it to go down into uh, data sources and then click on pixels if you don't have already a pixel you can go ahead and just click on add it's pretty straightforward I'm actually gonna create a new one just to show you how you can create it so this is going to be let's put it in my name just click on continue you can go ahead and continue or just for now we just click close and now we have two pixels all right now, as you can see, as soon as you uh, create a new one, it's going to be red because it hasn't received any activity. This is the one that I've been testing before shooting this video. As you can see, the last received activity was 13 minutes ago. So I'm going to show you how we go ahead and we install this uh, on our funnels inside the click funnel and how we can track two, th two main things that we're going to track in here, which is the most important thing for any business is First of all, page view, so when someone lands on your page, and the second, if someone subscribes or purchase. In our case, it's going to be subscribe. So let's say you have a landing page, someone lands, so you're running an ad or some sort of traffic, uh, sending people inside, inside that funnel. Someone lands on that page and they like what you're offering, they put in their email address and phone number or whatever, they hit submit, they land on your capture page or sorry, they land on your bridge page or thank you page and you want to receive an event uh, that tells you that, okay, I got a lead. This way, when you have an advertisement on Facebook, Facebook's gonna understand, okay, these are the type of person because when it starts uh, receiving the lead code, 
it starts uh, figuring out, okay, these are the type of person that are going to be more likely uh, convert to your advertisement. So it's start uh, segmenting its uh, huge database of people. All right, let's go ahead and I'll show you how we can actually use this new pixel actually that we created in here. All right, so the first thing that you want to do is you select your new pixel. You go on the right hand side where it says open in events manager, you click on that. It opens up a new uh, tab. Here we are. Now what we want to do, we want to uh, grab the code to install it on uh, ClickFunnel. So go ahead and click on continue pixel setup. Uh, this too comes up, uh, you want to choose a Facebook pixel. Click on that, click on connect. Then you want to choose uh, that you want to manually add the pixel code to your website, click on that. So it's going to show you this. All you need to do is just click on copy the code. And once you click on that, I want you to go back to your click funnel and find the funnel that you created. In this case, I've created this test funnel. So you have two options in here. You can either go to your settings. And as you can see, there's a head tracking code in here that is uh, what you call it as like a website wise. So when I put the tracking code in there, it's going to be on all steps, all the steps that I have in my funnel. So it's going to be on opt-in page, thank you page. And if you have more, they, it's, uh, they're gonna get the same head tracking code. This is what I want to do in this case. In some of the cases, it might not be the thing that you want to do. I'm gonna show you how you can uh, put it on a specific page as well but just want to let you know that if you wanted to have it on all of your funnel steps, this is where you can do it instead of just copy and pasting it on every single uh, steps inside your funnel that you have. All right, now the way to do it, the other way is you just basically say, okay, you go to opt-in, you go to edit page, brings up the editor. Here we go, this is the editor, you click on settings, and we have the tracking code in here, click on that. Yours should be probably empty, so what you need to do, you right click, paste, paste the code there. As you can see, if you know JavaScript, this is the main, two main piece of code. So this is the ID, Facebook tracking getting initialized, initialized with that ID, and it tells it, okay, this is my pixel, not someone else's pixel, and then it says, okay, track the page view. We go ahead and save this and we need to go back to our events manager and we say okay we've done this we click on continue we can turn this uh, keep this off for now and just continue we don't need to use this one just click on continue continue and go to pixel as you can see it's still the same thing nothing has changed now in order to test and see okay if that piece of code that we just paste is going to work is in here, if you click on test event, brings up uh, this uh, kind of view for testing. Now, if I go back to the click funnel in here and make sure that we've saved, okay. Now, if I exit, what I want to do is I want to grab my link. So I copy my link in here. And then I go back to events manager and I say, okay, this is the URL that has my uh, Facebook pixel on it. And I say, okay, open it on the website. Once it loads, I will go back to the events manager and we test to see if it shows up or not. So this is this. And as you can see, we already got two events in here. We go back in here. Now, once we paste that, because we've already, because I've already used this uh, URL for uh, te another testing pixel, so you might get a little bit confused. So I'm just going to change the path to uh, testing FB tracking, updating the funnel steps. Now, if I copy this and go back to Events Manager inside the test event. If I paste this one again, click on open website. As you can see, I already have a Facebook pixel tracker. It shows that it got one pixel and the name is page view. This is a Chrome extension helper that you can actually install. Now if I go back, as you can see, 
the page view has been processed and came in here. Now the next step that we want to do is we want to, when someone signs up, we want to trigger the lead uh, event for our pixel. So how we do that? So in order to do that, we need to go to our thank you page. And again, I'm going to go ahead and change the URL for this one because I've already used it for another pixel. So I want to make sure that this is going to be thank you FB pixel. So just make sure to update the path. There we go. I'll go ahead and click on edit page. Now, same thing. We first want to do a page view because it's another page and then we want to send a lead tracking code. So if I go to settings, tracking code, and you probably wouldn't have all of these in here. So what you need to do, you need to just paste the previous code that you have. So that's the pixel code again. So this one, we have track page view. Now what we want to add, the other thing that we want to add is we want to add the lead as well. There we go. We add the lead. And now we hit save. Now the next step, we can go back. If I copy this link, that, that's one way of testing. Uh, the next step is going to be, I'm going to show you how to, uh, it's going to work from uh, the beginning to the end. But right now I'm just going to do it separate, uh, separately. So if I copy this one and I go to events manager, test event, what you need to do to get rid of this, you click on clear history, make sure that you delete this guy, paste the new one, open the website. And again, this is super helpful. As you can see, two, three events has been triggered, initialized, page view, and lead. Now, just to confirm, we go back to events manager. So we got lead and page view. Now, as you might have already know, we've already done it like separately. Now we want to do the whole uh, process. So when someone actually lands on our opt-in page and go ahead and basically provide their information and opt-in. Is it going to work or not? Well, let's see. Delete this one, paste our landing page, open website, and we just go ahead and sign up. So these are some tests that I put in there, and then I click on click here to get access. Again, as you can see, we got two uh, pixel. One of them is initialization and one of them is page view. I go ahead and click on click here to get access. And as you can see, three pixels coming in, initialization, page view, and lead tracking. Now, if I go in here, in events manager, I should have two page view and one lead. There we go. Got two page views and one lead. As you can see, everything is working perfectly. Now, if you wonder what this error is, this is mainly, if you click on overview, these are the changes that uh, Apple, specifically on iOS and MacBook, has done since iOS 14. Uh, limited tracking on uh, on their devices for Facebook because as you can see these are all happening in the background but what Apple has done is basically as soon as it finds out that there is a pixel on a website uh, it blocks it and asks the user that this is website is going to track you are you going to allow them to track you most probably most of people are saying no so that's why Facebook is uh, throwing these kind of errors to tell you that your uh, data might not be 100% accurate, specifically if you are configuring more than eight events. Right now we are not, we're just uh, doing uh, a simple lead and you can also con configure that for your lead conversion. You want to only look at, uh, for example, the user email and the user, uh, for example, name. Um, that should be all right. That's one of the error and the other error for this is you need to always confirm and verify your domain with Facebook. That's going to be a totally separate uh, uh, video for that. Uh, I believe I might have some videos already in my YouTube channel. I'm going to update that. It might be a little bit old, but you need to verify your domains inside Facebook because otherwise Facebook, uh, might uh, they, they want to know which domain is verified for the specific pixel. So that's another thing that you need to do. All right. That's pretty much it. This is how you can actually set up a Facebook pixel and also integrate it into your click funnel without using the click funnel integration. If you don't want to allow click funnel to have access to your advertisement account inside Facebook, 
I hope you enjoyed this one. Please do make sure that you like this video, share this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more free trainings. And if you would like to learn more or have a one-on-one -on -one coaching with me on how to how the tech works behind the online marketing and online business, make sure that you click on that join button on your YouTube channel and join my membership group and we can have a talk and see where we can go from there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.